So far in class, we have talked about linear functions. And the parent function for a linear function is y equals x. Right? And we practice graphing this. And y equals x is a function that looks just like this. It crosses through the origin. We just finished our lesson on quadratics. Right? And quadratics parent function is x squared. And we know that is a u-shaped curve called a parabola that's centered at the origin. We're now going to talk about our last function for this semester. It's an exponential function. Exponential functions are unique because it has several parent functions. It's going to depend on the base that we have on what our graph will look like. But this is the general outline to look for the parent function of an exponential. And exponentials are a line that get very close and they curve. So we've talked about straight lines. We've talked about parabolas that have a U-shaped curve. And now we're talking about exponentials that have a slight curve in their line. So let's start our discussion with transformations. These transformation notes okay, are very similar to your quadratic notes. And what's even greater is the transformations are the same. So you get a second opportunity at learning some of these transformations. Remember that your A value means a couple of different things. If our a value is greater than 1, we have a stretch. If our a value is smaller than 1, we have a shrink. And remember, when I'm talking about smaller than 1, I'm talking about fractions. And if I have a negative a, that negative is the only thing that can talk about a reflection. So how does this change my graph? When I have a stretch, I'm going to have something tall and skinny. It's going to increase pretty rapidly. If I have a shrink, I'm going to have something short and wide. And when I have this reflection, this is still going to flip my graph. I'm going to flip my exponential function upside down. Now, b is part of your parent function. So you can look at this as b to the x, but b stands for base. And of course, x is in the exponent spot which makes this an exponential function. When I look at my base, I'm looking to see if it's greater than 1. That means I have a growth. If my base is smaller than 1, again, only fractions, this is a decay. Well, how does this change my graph? When I have a growth, my function is going to look like it has a positive slope. It's going to curve up in a positive direction. If I have a decay, my graph is going to look like it has a negative slope or it's falling just like some of our linear functions. H is still a horizontal movement. H is still a movement to the left or right. And again, just like in quadratics, if I have a positive H, a positive
positive H gives me a transformation of moving to the right. A negative H has a transformation of moving right. Now, Miss Walsh has made an error in her notes, and I apologize. I need to do the opposite. So this should be left. Okay, we're always doing the opposite. Positive H, you're doing the opposite, move left. Negative H, do the opposite, move right. Your K value is still a vertical motion. You could be moving up or down. If it's a positive K value, you're still going up. And if it's a negative K value, you're still going down. When we talk about exponentials, there's also a unique characteristic. This is also called your asymptote. And we'll get more into that when we graph. But your K value is the same one as your asymptote. Now let's practice some of these. I stated that your parent function is your base raised to an exponent. That makes this 2 to the x your parent function. Which means this plus 7 is on the outside. We're going up 7. In number 2, your parent function is 3 raised to the x. That's a base with the exponent. So this is my parent function. This negative is in that a spot, and we know negatives in the a spot should be a reflection. We now have something up by x, and it's a plus 5, so we're going to remember to do the opposite and go left 5. And this negative 2 way out back, that's down 2. Our last one, we have a parent function of 1 half raised to the x. Now in the a spot we have a 2. That 2 is a stretch because it's bigger than 1. This minus 3 is headed to the right because it's by x and we do the opposite. And the 12 is up 12 since it's positive. And that concludes your notes for transformations. Please come to class prepared with any questions that you still have as we work in class tomorrow.